Yo, Jay Blank here. You've seen the viral videos. The Flipper Zero gets pointed at a vending machine and free snacks come tumbling out. It gets near a credit card and suddenly your info is stolen. Or it's aimed at a traffic light and it magically turns green. The internet has made the Flipper Zero look like some kind of master key to our digital world. But how much of that is real and how much is just internet hype? Today, we're cutting through the noise, separating the facts from the fiction, and putting these wild claims to test. So, let's talk about the Flipper Zero. At its core, it's a powerful multi-tool made for tech hobbyists and security pros to play with a huge range of wireless signals. But its real purpose has been totally buried by an avalanche of myths. These videos make it seem like a push button chaos device, playing on our fears about the invisible signals all around us. But is it really that simple or is there something more going on behind the curtain? We're going to tackle the three biggest myths you see online, that the flipper is a vending machine hacker, a digital credit card thief, and a traffic light controller. For each one, we'll look at the claim, check the tech, and give you the real story. Let's get into it. The videos show it all. Someone walks up to a vending machine, points the flipper, and gets credits or free stuff. It makes the flipper look like a magic wand. The reality is that virtually all modern vending machines use the same secure payment systems you find in any store. They accept payments via encrypted credit card readers, contactless NFC for tap to pay cards and mobile wallets like Apple Pay or secure QR code apps. These systems send encrypted data to a payment processor for authorization, just like a normal cash register. The flipper has no way to break this encryption or generate the secure credentials needed for a transaction. The verdict, false. The Flipper Zero cannot just walk up to a modern vending machine and hack it for free items. The viral videos showing this are either staged or are exploding obsolete insecure hardware that is incredibly rare to find today. This one feels even more personal. A hacker walking by you and wirelessly snatching your credit card details out of your wallet with the flipper in their pocket. This fear even got the flipper banned from Amazon for being a card skimming device. All right, let's get into the tech. Contactless cards use NFC and the flipper is a great NFC reader. If you hold a card up to it, it can absolutely read some basic unencrypted info. This is usually where the viral videos stop, showing the card number on screen like it's game over. But that's not the whole story. To actually make a purchase, even if you could read the card number, that is not enough. Tap to pay cards have a secure EMV chip, which is basically like a tiny computer. When you tap your card, the chip doesn't just broadcast your info. It performs a cryptographic handshake with the payment terminal and creates a unique one-time use code or token for that specific transaction. The code is only good for that one purchase at that moment for that exact amount. The Flipper Zero cannot generate this one-time token. It also cannot read the three-digit CVV code on the back of your card, which you need for most online shopping. So the information is pretty useless for making fraudulent payments. An attacker would have better luck just taking a picture of your physical card. The verdict, false. The Flipper Zero can't clone a modern credit card to go on a shopping spree and it can't get the dynamic security codes needed to actually complete a transaction. This one feels like it's pulled straight out of a video game. Just point the flipper at a red light, press a button and it turns green. The videos make it seem like users can just cruise through intersections controlling city infrastructure on a whim. This myth is a bit more complex. First off, the flipper's built-in radio that talks to garage doors and key fobs has nothing to do with traffic lights. They don't just change on a simple command. 
So what does change them? Many intersections have a traffic signal preemption systems like the Opticon system designed for emergency vehicles. These systems don't use radio, they use a high powered beam of infrared light flashing at a very specific frequency. A specific receiver on the traffic light pole sees the IR strobe and tells the system to start changing the light. The Flipper Zero does have a built-in infrared transmitter, but it's tiny, meant for your TV, not for blasting a signal across a busy street. Out of the box, it is completely incapable of triggering one of these systems. However, this is where it gets interesting. The Flipper has GPIO pins, which let it control external electronics. A traffic signal technician with the right know-how could potentially hook up a transmitter to the flipper, but let's be super clear, this is not a simple point and click hack. It requires extra hardware, technical skill, and a separate power source. Most importantly, it is extremely illegal and can land you in serious trouble for impersonating an emergency vehicle. The verdict? Mostly false. The Flipper Zero by itself cannot change traffic lights. The videos showing someone doing it with just the handheld device are misleading. While it can be used as the brain in a larger, custom built and highly illegal device, the Flipper isn't doing the heavy lifting. The claim that the little pocket gadget alone can do this is false. So where does that leave us? The Flipper Zero isn't the all-powerful master key from the viral videos. It can't hack a modern vending machine, it can't steal your credit card info for payments, and it can't change traffic lights on its own. The truth is, the Flipper Zero is an amazing educational tool. It's a Swiss army knife for anyone curious about cybersecurity and how the wireless world around us really works. It's meant to help people understand vulnerabilities so that they can be fixed, not exploited. The hype around it comes from a misunderstanding of the security we rely on every day. These myths go viral because they're scary, but a little knowledge goes a long way. Security is a constant cat and mouse game, and robust systems are more than just a simple lock waiting for one key. What other flipper myths have you seen floating around? Let me know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this reality check, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications for more deep dives. I'm Jay Blanks. Until next time, peace.